The Rays take on the Orioles, 4.35 p.m. Eastern first pitch, and that's going to be game one of a doubleheader. The Rays are the $2 favorite in game one here, total six runs. Remember, these doubleheaders in uh, this season are seven inning games. So once again, totals six runs. Blake Snell's on the bump for Tampa Bay. Dean Kramer for the Orioles. We're 5-0 and with a push in our last six crowd pleaser teasers on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also hitting at 80% in our last 18 extra daily pick tier package plays on that site as well. And that membership costs just $2.99. For more information on how you can access this exclusive premium sports betting content, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now the Orioles lost to the Yankees in Dean Kramer's last start. Baltimore's also winning just 42% of their ball games at Camden Yards, and they rank in the bottom five in striking batters out. Now the O's have been victorious in just two out of their last eight contests. Baltimore also ranks in the top 10 in runs allowed at home. They are taking on a first place Tampa Bay Rays club, who's 13 games above 500 right now. Tampa ranks in the top 10 in scoring, top 10 in striking batters out. And speaking of strikeouts, Blake Snell's punched out 50 batters on the season in just 39 innings of work. Blake is 4 1 on the season and has a 3.23 ERA. The Rays have also won five out of their last seven contests where Snell made the start. Now, Tampa Bay is currently winning nearly 65% of their games when favored. Very good when laying the juice. They're also in the top 10 in road scoring. Brandon Lau leads the team in hits, homers, RBI, and on-base percentage. Lau's hit 13 home runs and knocked in 31. He's also got an OBP of 359. Willie Adams has 20 extra base hits on the season, along with 15 RBI as well. The Rays pitching staff all, uh, also ranks in the top 10 in most road strikeouts uh, as well. Now, total-wise, Snell's last six starts all got over the posted total. Short number here, shorter game. Give me the Rays minus one and a half and the over six runs in that contest. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines of personal leans out for Thursday's MLB baseball action. Happy Thursday to you. The weekend is right around the corner. Now, before we dive into some more free content, just got to quickly remind you that we are hitting at 80% in our last 18 extra daily picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. That membership costs just $2.99. We're also 5-0 and with a push in our last six crowd pleaser teasers on that site as well. For more information on how you can join in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on, we're going to take a look at the Mets taking on the Phillies, 7.05 p.m. Eastern start time. The Phillies are the $1.20 favorite, totals eight runs. We got Aaron Nola on the mound for the Fightins. Seth Lugo for the Metropolitans. Lugo's just two and three on the season, and the Mets have lost three out of their last four games where he made the start. Now, the New York Mets here, they rank in the top 10 in the league in most hits allowed per contest. They also have a 449 win percentage on the season, and they do find themselves six and a half games back of the Braves in their division. New York's winning just 20% of their ball games when catching plus money. Uh, not a great stat there uh, when they are not favored. Uh, they've also lost five out of their last six at Citizens Bank Park. They're taking on a Philly squad who has Aaron Nola on the bump for him tonight. Five and three on the season, two four zero ERA. Aaron struck out 77 batters in just over 56 innings of work. He also has a 0 0.89 whip. The Phillies rank in the top five in the league in scoring, top 10 in offensive walks. Now, Didi Gregorius currently leads the club in hits, batting average, and RBI. Didi's hitting 280 with 31 ribbies. Now, JT Real Muto has hit 11 home runs on the season. Keep an eye on him. He's been a little bit banged up as of late, uh, battling a, uh, a leg injury here, but it looks like he should probably get the start tonight, so keep an eye on Real Muto. And, of course, can't forget about Bryce Harper uh, slumping a little bit lately, but Still, he's been walked 37 times already in the season, and he has an on-base percentage just six points shy of 400. The Phils are 786 in their last 14 at home. Very good win percentage at home. 
Uh, they've once again won five out of their last six ball games hosting the Mets. Now, total-wise, four out of Philly's last five contests stayed under the number. Five out of Nola's last nine starts stayed under the line as well. Meanwhile, the Mets on the other side saw all four of Seth Lugo's starts this season stay under the total themselves. Give me the Phillies winning this one straight up and the under eight runs in that contest. And with that, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Indians-Tigers, 7.10 p.m. Eastern start time. The Indians are minus 280, totals eight runs. And if you like the Tigers in an upset here, they're plus 235 for an outright win, plus $1.35 catching the run and a half. Casey Mize for the Tigers, Shane Bieber for the Indians. And as bad as the Indians have been lately, they've been awful. Uh, it's real tough fading Shane Bieber here tonight. 7-1 and one on the season, 153 ERA, and a .87 whip. He's been awesome. This guy struck out 102 batters already in just over 64 innings pitched. And despite their recent struggles, the Twins rank in the top three in fewest runs allowed per contest, top three in striking batters out. Now, Nelson Cruz, uh, he leads the team in hits, batting average, homers, and on-base percentage. Cruz is uh, currently batting 321 on the season with 16 home runs, which actually ranks second in the majors in that category. He's also got an on-base percentage of 409. Eddie's, uh, Eddie Rosario, uh, he's also knocked in 33, which is in the top 20 in the league. The Indians are winning 61% of their contests when favored. They've also beaten Detroit in 18 out of their last 20 head-to-head -head meetings. And speaking of the Tigers, they've got Casey Mize on the bump for him here tonight. 583 ERA and a 1.40 whip. The Tigers are winning just 38% of their ball games when catching plus money. They're also in the top three in most strikeouts at the plate. Bottom 10 in run production. Uh, a couple more things to add here about the Tigers. They're just one game ahead of the last place Royals in the AL Central, and they do find themselves six games below 500. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the number in this one, two out of Casey Mize's last three starts stayed under the posted total. Five out of the Tigers' last seven games at Comerica Park also stayed under the number. Meanwhile, the Indians on the other side saw four out of their last six meetings with the Tigers stay under the line themselves. The Indians went 90% to the under, and Shane Bieber's last 10 starts as well. Give me the Indians minus one and a half, getting the job done for some run line cash and the under eight runs in that contest. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But once again, most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Thursday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.